So there's this little game called Helldivers 2. Maybe you've heard about this third-person co-op shooter, which has been incredibly popular since its release on February the 8th to both the PlayStation Store and the Steam Store. So many people bought this game and started playing it within the first two weeks of release that there were widespread server and login issues being reported by the player base which is a huge problem because the game is meant to be played with a team. And even though you can technically play it solo, it just makes it a lot harder to progress through the game, it's not actually possible to play this game offline. That always online DRM, it really should have been a clue to people about what was about to come. On Thursday, May 2nd, this post titled Hell Divers 2 Account Linking Update was made by Sony to the Steam Store, and it reads, Attention Hell Divers! Due to technical issues at the launch of Hell Divers 2, we allowed the linking requirement for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. I can't even read that sentence without cracking up a little bit. It's just, it's, it's, if you know anything about Sony, you know how bullshit this is. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link, and then they give you a link to set up a PSN account. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us to continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. Many thanks for your continued support of Hell Divers 2, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Now, most gamers are already well adjusted to the always online DRM. That's why it's so prevalent in new games these days. So that's not really enough to kill the success of a new game. But requiring people to create a PlayStation Network account in order to continue playing a game that they already purchased is. Like this requirement to have a PSN account might make some sense on the PlayStation platform, since it's an always online game, you know, the PlayStation Network would obviously be used for that connectivity and matchmaking and all that stuff. But over half of the sales for Helldivers 2 went to members of the glorious PC Master Race. This game wouldn't have seen a fraction of its success if it didn't release on PC to the Steam Store specifically and PlayStation at the same time. And so if you're just a PC gamer, like most of the Helldivers 2 player bases, there's no way in hell that you're going to want to involve yourself with the laughably insecure hacker's playground that is Sony's online infrastructure, unless you just have a very specific fetish where you get off on people stealing your data and then selling it on the dark web. But this isn't just another annoying obstacle to put in somebody's way. For much of the world, Sony's network is an impassable barrier. Like maybe you live in Afghanistan and you want to play Helldivers 2 with your friends. You've got high speed internet courtesy of Afghan Telecom. The Taliban just declared that Helldivers is not haram, so you took the game out of your homework folder. All your friends have a copy of it too, and you just got a bag of the purplest kush this side of Kabul. But when you go to log on, 
you discover that you need to create a PlayStation account to play the game on PC that you already paid for, which you can't even do now if you wanted to because you live in one of the 100 plus countries that PlayStation Network isn't available in. So you hop onto the platform formerly known as Twitter to ask the Game Studios CEO what you can do. And he tells you that he doesn't know. Now, to be fair to Arrowhead and their CEO, you know, these guys are the developers of Helldivers 2 and the original Helldivers. They really don't have any say in all of this. And a lot of unfair hatred was directed at them on Twitter and other places. But the real enemy here is scumbag Sony, who owns the rights to Helldivers. They own the IP. And they wanted to force the integration of Helldivers with the PlayStation Network just to try and increase their profits. But despite Sony's greed, the internet decided to fight back against the PSN account requirement by massively boycotting the game and flooding it with negative reviews on Steam since the beginning of May. So in the first two months that Helldiver 2 came out, it was on track to become Game of the Year. And in just a few days since this announcement was made, Sony managed to undo all of the initial hype around Helldivers with this hate for the PSN requirement, and they have now become one of the lowest rated games in the history of the most popular gaming platform ever, gaining almost as many negative reviews as Dota 2, which has ruined countless people's lives. The pressure was so immense that early this morning on the platform formerly known as Twitter, Sony made this announcement. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update, the May 6 update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players, and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. And they also updated their post on the Steam store, basically just striking through the initial message and then copying the same message that they put on Twitter onto the top of the post. So the internet managed to gain a small victory over big tech and people can continue playing Helldivers 2 without a PlayStation Network account, at least for now, because... I gotta be honest with you guys, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Sony plays these shenanigans again after they pick up a Game of the Year prize for Helldivers 2, if that's even possible at this point, or at least once they've squeezed a good enough amount of profits out of the game and it's past everyone's refund period, they'll probably require people to link their PlayStation Network account to it again so that they can try to squeeze just a little bit more profit off of mining those people's data who still want to keep trying to play the game. But let this serve as an example of what can be done to fight back against the DRM of mega corporations. Hopefully this fight can be taken even further and, and can be done more often to further compel them to not require the constant internet connection as well, which is really what makes most of this DRM possible in the first place. Like if your game isn't required to connect to some online server somewhere, then there isn't so much that they can do to try to manipulate the game and to throw new requirements in after the fact, unless, of course, you update it and they manage to, uh, you know, bundle more DRM with updated content, which they so often do. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it to hack the algorithm and support my channel by shopping on my website, based.win, where you can get awesome merch like the Little Damon hoodie or the tie-dye tour tee and save 10% at checkout automatically by paying in your favorite cryptocurrency. Have a great rest of your day.